Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, today I want to share with you something amazing, something incredible. I actually had covered this topic a little bit uh, last week in a Bible prophecy update I did, but there was something that I missed that I believe is absolutely huge. Uh, at the Abrahamic Accord Summit in Rome last week, again, I did a video on this last week, World Likud Chairman Danny Danin all but acknowledged that Israel is prepared and ready to follow the Antichrist when he appears on the global stage sh uh, shortly. The Abraham Accords Global Leadership Summit was just held in Rome with representatives from 30 countries taking part. Now, I want you to listen very carefully to what Danny Damon said here. Listen to this. It's just a matter of time before courageous leaders step out of the shadows and full peace is achieved between all the children of Abraham, said Danon. We pray that the seeds we planted here today will grow into unprecedented global peace and coexistence for generations to come. Again, Danny Danon at the Abraham Accords Global Leadership Summit, which was held uh, with representatives and leaders from 30 countries taking part, said the following. It's just a matter of time before courageous leaders, listen to the language here, step out of the shadows and full peace is achieved between all the children of Abraham, said Danan. We pray that the seeds we planted here today will grow into unprecedented global peace and coexistence for generations to come. Folks, the language he used there is huge because we know the Antichrist has not been revealed yet. He will not be revealed until after the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. I do believe the Antichrist is alive. He's in the shadows. And when the time does come, according to Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, and Isaiah chapter 28, verse 15, when the time comes after the rapture of the church, when the Antichrist is revealed, he will confirm the covenant with many for one week, a seven-year time frame known as the seven-year tribulation period. It will be a covenant with death as we, uh, as we read in Isaiah chapter 28, verse 15. But just the first sentence there that Danan said, it's just a matter of time before courageous leaders step out of the shadows and full peace is achieved between all the children of Abraham. Folks, make no mistake about it. The stage is set. Everything is being prepared for when the Antichrist does come onto the world scene after the rapture of the church. He's going to be able to confirm this covenant with many to start Daniel's 70th week. It, this covenant will, it will look good. It'll smell good. But we know according to scripture, it's going to be a covenant with death. And what we see going on right now with the Abrahamic Accords, how it's involving many, folks, without a shadow of a doubt, this is laying the foundation, the groundwork for the coming Daniel 927 covenant so that when the Antichrist does rise, does come out of the shadows, he's going to be able to confirm this covenant with the many for one week. This is amazing stuff we're watching, folks. I had to share this one with you today. I can't believe I missed this when I did my update last week, but I had to share it with you today. If you're watching this video and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you can never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins 
and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. So I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Again, put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me and God bless you all.